the gross part. Yeah. I do want to eat the gross part. Chop the gross part. Put it part. in your pocket. Okay, now I'm not gonna. Now I'm gonna get this. Now let's go milk. Mm hmm. Okay. Get <laughs> the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, I have no idea why she's got like foam on her. Uh, maybe she drinks the milk a little bit. No, she can't drink her own milk. She doesn't like her own milk, anyways. It's in the pen. <laughs> through this corn a lot of it is ripe or at least I've gone through one section and so far have this much and I've only gone in there and pulling out some corn stalks that are done giving them to the cow oh, she's just so majestic out there just lovely okay we're gonna have some lunch I think we're gonna cook up some corn Yay for lunch. corn for lunch and for dinner, and dinner. Loves corn. Okay. okay. Yeah. I'm in my corn, <laughs> looking for ripe ones, and there's actually there's quite a few that are ripe. Um, but in order for me to tell, I'm just ripping it open, and if it's yellow, I'm taking it off. There's really no other for sure way to tell. Yeah. Don't leave it. So if it's yellow, I'll take it off, and then incoming. Do you find it? It's right here. Okay. <laughs> it's not the most efficient way to do this, I'm sure. But, I mean, some are ripe and some aren't. And I might still have a week or two left that the rest can ripen. So, kind of just got to get them now. This one might be ready. Look how big this is. Like. <laughs> Holy corn! Incoming! Monster, right? Like, it's huge! I got three in my hand. Here? What's here? Okay. This one likes them. Okay, we're gonna get some Parmesan. It's an Alpine cheese made. No, no. It's right there. Um, I put three and a half gallons in because I realized with because it's a skim milk cheese because it's like a Parmesan. You don't have cream in a Parmesan, so you can make it really hard. Um, I, it, it produces a lot less. So if I put more milk in, then it can fit in my cheese press perfectly. So we're gonna try it with three and a half gallons. A little more than three and a half. to 90 degrees, 10 degrees short. So I, I gotta go milk now, so I gotta hurry. So, so I turn up the heat a little bit and I just gotta make sure to stir it. I know, but I gotta wait for my cheese because then I can put the yogurt whey in it 
and then it sits for an hour, so then I can go milk for that. It only takes me 30 minutes to milk, but still. I look like a wreck today. <laughs> tell me what's new. I didn't get a whole lot of business work done today. You can always tell when I do that, because then I look put together. <laughs> my business is my face. <laughs> That's okay, I've just been picking corn and like look at these beautiful ripe tomatoes and then I have three more buckets and I still haven't picked them all. And they just keep ripening, like I'll do one row and then the next row ripens behind me. She can see the moon like I can see the moon. Like it's just, to you it looks like a yellow ball, but <laughs> it's gorgeous. It's getting really dark. I need to go get Hosanna. You can tell that the combines are in the field with the dust. It's been really dry, but that's good. They got their crops ready to harvest in the field. Oh, it's so beautiful out. Okay. Coat to left it out here picking corn. She really appreciates that. I sound like bingo. <laughs> you know when they... Come on, cow. Oh, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> <laughs> the cat doesn't just move. Ten forty, and I am still dealing with cheese. I let it culture pretty long. I don't know what that'll do. If it'll make it more like acidic. I think that's what it is, because less cultured cheese is like less time, the less acidic. So there's gonna be more acidic cheese, but whatever. It's supposed to be like a. What is this? <laughs> I'm so rough today. <laughs> it's been a rough day. Um, anyways. I don't know. Hopefully it turns out and it tastes good. I still don't know what any of my cheese tastes like. I tried the cheddar cheese that I, that was my first cheese that I ever made. It was gross. But cheddar cheese needs to age for like six months and it was only two months in. And the first bite of it tastes good, but as you keep chewing, it gets grosser. <laughs> so it's like it wants to be cheddar cheese, but it's not. So I don't know. So hopefully all this cheese actually turns out. October 16th, I can try my first one. I mean, you can try it at any time when I have, but like where it's actually ready, October 16th. Um, anyways, so I'm cutting the curd. This is an excellent way to do it. Um, you can't do this with all cheeses. This is only for this specific cheese. You so I will stir this for another 30 minutes, heating it up to 110 degrees, and then I can strain it and press it. This one's actually a really easy one to make, so. It goes by faster. I'm making ice cream. Yes, this late at night. <laughs> My husband wanted ice cream and he's bringing home like chocolate, some things to put in it for himself. I'm going to bed. <laughs> but I gotta make more ice cream. I don't have to, I want to. <laughs> and it is the best ice cream I have ever, ever had. It's so good. So stinking good. So we'll put one cup. <laughs> of cream plus three fourths. Because this had a lot of milk in it, I'm just gonna use it for the milk part too. So one and a quarter cup of milk. Oh, it's kind of cream. This is the milk, extra milk that I got from tonight's milking. That didn't fit in a jar. Okay, and then a cup of sugar, 
and a little bit of salt. You can put vanilla in it, but I don't really like the taste of vanilla. I know it's really weird, but I don't. We just kind of got stir it for a while. I give my kids to do this job. They like it. I got cheese to make. So, this is gonna take some time. <laughs> 